Yeah. Yes. Those cars don't need that. Yeah, you're right. After, after soon. Okay. And then um, credential real estate professionals. Okay, uh, you want to put this email address or a different one? Uh, do the Salem Realtors at Comcast.net because we already have that coming right into us. Website? The website is uh, Salem Realtors.net. Okay, so uh, at this point here, we now do description. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is usually pull off your website and just feed that information in. You have an email address or you can just sit there and type it. You can change it later or edit it later. But uh, let me add another tab. And this is where the tab really comes in handy. SalemRealtors.com or net? Dot net. So, um, okay. so hardworking, what do you like uh, about this most? Uh, Profile with what? No, that's, he's on my website. That's, 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 yeah. He's on my website. Oh, so is this, is this a good description of your business? Is there a place where you have that about us? Uh, See, I can put that on there, but it's better to do a description. Okay. Because that way, it will. Oh, it will oh now we know. Yeah. That was Dave. Uh, Dave. That way, a description will start. Google will search that description. Oh, okay. Because you, you want those keywords. And uh, essentially, they're they're like keywords, but it's. Sort of thing. Or? Yeah. So basically, if you're doing a a thirty second commercial, mm -hmm. what are you going to say? Okay. Is that on here at all, or? Like, for instance, we go to profile testimonials. Uh, our mission, you know, that type of thing that will that will contain those words, a real estate professional, and we strive <clears throat> to do service. And I, I can just copy this for now, and okay. we can think about uh, it later. Because yeah, I've got something on my Facebook that okay. that, uh, that might work really better. So basically, we're going to edit copy this. Okay. Makes it easy. Uh, control C. Jump back over to Google Places here because of the tab. And we'll do Control V. And then because it picks up on keywords or not? Because then I might put um, something about uh, residential real estate in the Salem Valley. So area. Perfect image. that in there for now and then we'll you can add it later change it later but ideally you would do a 30 second commercial in there we are a full service real estate professional group located in Salem Oregon serving Portland Oregon 
So you're kind of getting those locations in there as well? Yes, yeah, so I, I, you may want to just add that in real quick, just because I know the keywords, and some people are typing it in, well, can make the big difference. Yeah. But we serve the Salem, do you serve Portland? Uh, I don't really serve okay. Portland, uh, the Willamette Valley. Serve. And you probably have Salem in there. And Salem. Uh, Oregon. Uh, residential. Residential uh, and commercial. Uh, residential real estate. Real estate for over thirty years. All right, that should be good. You can always change your attitude later. So. This description is great. Uh, the next part is the categories. So you need to be very specific as to your business because this is when you start coming up with those random search terms. So the, when you start entering suggestions into the categories here, you're allowed up to five categories. So you're allowed, uh, say, internet marketing, social media, those different so, things. Um, residential. So when you, when you start typing this in, um, you have your keywords, but then Google has their own. So, for instance, when we start doing real, commercial real estate agency, all those suggestions start popping up. Uh -huh. So you want to find, ideally you find the ones that Google best matches, that are closest to you, because those are the ones that are most searched. And those are the ones that tend to be the greatest. Um, so we've got real estate agency. Real estate agency. Okay. Uh -huh. Then we're going to add another category. Uh -huh. So we're allowed five. You want to take advantage of all five. Yes. Uh -huh. Residential. Uh, well, it's got, okay, right. residential. Property management or real estate. Real estate consultant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ryan, this is Alan Ekstrom. Nice to meet you. Ryan, Ryan. 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 Real estate consultants. Real estate investments. Uh, not there, but I can still put it. So a, they call that a custom category, so if someone searches for that. What are some of the other things? Um, selling your home? Yeah, selling your home. Uh, purchasing a home. Or home sales. Just seeing what Google has there. So uh, home buying, home selling. Mm -hmm. We'll do a custom category. And you're allowed one more. A home buying. Home buying, all right. So service area here is the next thing. <coughs> do all customers come to your location or do you come to them? I mean, house so basically, you'll serve customers at their location. Their location. Yes. So, how far will you go? Is it a range of 30 miles, or do you just have areas that you serve? So, we can do a, a, a point radius. So, from Mission Street, mm -hmm. you can go out 50 miles in a circle around you. That's fine. Okay. Which, which do you think would get the most hits? Um, it, it kind of varies. You know, for instance, uh, different people will come up to Silverton, even though they're in Salem. Mm -hmm because they have that radius out there. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you are very specific, I, I personally like a radius, I guess would be my, the answer for that. So here's, here's what the preview is so far. So here's your business here. And if we do say 20 miles, we will update the preview. So let's do, uh, Salem, Oregon. So there's the there's the, the and you might do fifty miles because I can then refer if it at like the coast or Portland. Okay. So there's there's the window there. Okay. Cool. So that kind of gives you a broad service area. Hey Ryan, can you take just a wee break and sort of recap for Ellen? Yeah, that's fine. 
Um, I'm going to stop uh, the Are you recordings. Okay? Are you good? I feel okay. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, though. Okay. So here's where you would add a file, uh, sorry, a photo from your computer. So you add um, pictures of you, pictures of your agency, homes that you've sold, uh, anything, products about your business. It's good to make it more alive, um, more active. So the more pictures you have, you have up to 10, 10 images. So you simply, uh, you probably want to add these later, but you'll simply choose the file and then add photo. Okay. So we, and is the best photo to start with? I mean, do we assume that the first photo you add is going to be the one seen most often? Pretty much. That's how it goes. So, um, Sandy has a really nice one of she, mine, and Scott. Would that be her, her, and that's her professional her photo? Is that the one she would first pick for that? Yeah, that's what she'd upload first. Um, you could also add photos from the web. Yeah, our Flickr or Photo Bucket, which are other sites that we'll go into if you don't are familiar with those. But uh, anyway, you want to add more photos, makes your listing more alive. Then after that is the videos. So you can add videos from YouTube. Google owns YouTube. And so if you have tour of homes, if you uh, you do a lot of that. Right, or found, yeah, found yeah. or something. And so you, that makes your listing more alive and come up better on the search results. So adding videos as well. Can you add videos from like a flip that you do yourself? Yes, you can. You, can, um, you want to upload them to YouTube, though. And is that as secure? Is the YouTube? As, as secure as YouTube. Well, this is a very public site. Mm -hmm. So uh, YouTube is secure as any online email is. If you're creating an account or listing, it's just as secure as creating a Gmail account. Wow. Um, but this is a very public listing, so if you're not wanting to share the photos, I wouldn't put it here. Because mm -hmm. this is meant to be found on a map for search terms. There you go. Additional details, um, you're on the bus route. Yes. For example, so I'll just put that on there. I know. Just, just as an example. Just as an example. Don't so bother. When, when you click submit here, you usually get uh, a verification request. You'll either get that through phone or through postcard. Generally speaking, it's through postcard. I'll show you what I mean in a second here. So maybe it'd been better to list uh, right off the five or something like that. For I'm sorry. Maybe instead of like on the bus route for her, it might be better to put right off the five. Yeah, five. yeah, definitely something like that. Just this example, she needs to change this because yeah. you know, we're going to put this online. We don't want right. her. So it's the verification option that it uh, sent for me is by postcard. So within two to three weeks, you will get a postcard from Google to this address. It's going to be uh, addressed to you know Mike, Sandy, and Scott Manning, and you want to make sure that you get that. Because that's going to give you a uh, five-digit PIN, and that PIN was what we're going to need to activate this listing. So right now, this listing is not live yet. Oh, so it's going to take that long. Correct. So, so it's going to be two weeks. It's going to be about two weeks, uh, sometimes under, Interesting. before you get this thing. So they're they're very picky about their places. Oh, no. but yeah, and so uh, I want you to go in and make any changes. You can make changes. Oh, I can. Yep. Okay. You make changes through this. I mean, I'll show I can you. do that before the postcard. Correct. Okay. So what the postcard does is verify that it's real. Mm -hmm. You're a real person. You have the authority to do that. Then it makes it live. Okay. Then you'll have a Google Places account. Ooh, and so sometimes, uh, depending on the business, the reason we might have gotten a postcard is because Prudential has that same type of address. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times you can do it by phone. Mm -hmm. So you can just call and verify the number instantly, and it, Google gives you a PIN that you enter right away. So sometimes when you do that for your own business, you might just do it by phone, mm -hmm. much faster, and activates it right away. Okay. Well, it's good to know to expect that, and it won't go live until that. Correct. Because now I'll be keeping an eye exactly. on it. Exactly. It won't be junk mail. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's why I tell people that it's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you have to resend it, ask them to resend it another two weeks. Okay. okay. So uh, that is the simplicity of Google Places. Uh, the contact name is going to be Salem uh, Realtors. So I'm going to click finish here, mm -hmm. and that's going to send that out to you within two weeks. Okay. Can I get one? 